Welcome back everybody to the Detroit Lions franchise. We are ready for season number four as this preseason is going to get underway. We're going to go through some highlights of this preseason. Hopefully we see some standouts, but really this season number four is really going to ride on the shoulders of this guy right here. Kirk Bray, first round pick. We thought he was going to be the future, had a very solid rookie season he led us to the NFC Championship game. We had some high hopes last year. It started off, maybe not record-wise, but stat-wise, he was just absolutely killing it. Got on a nice five-game win streak, was just throwing touchdown after touchdown, and all of a sudden, it just stopped, and the turnovers came. He loses his job, makes his way back to the final game of the season, and in the playoffs... Kind of struggled a little bit in the playoffs. And we had a chance to sign Trevor Lawrence. But we decided to keep faith. We're going to let Kirk Bray play out his third season here and give him a chance. Now, obviously, DeAndre Swift back. Uh, DeMondre Stevenson, we signed him. Bring him in as a nice backup. No more Jamal Williams. We bring in Traylon Burks for trade. Quez Watkins. We're really trying to get this receiving court super deep we had so many injuries last year it was a big problem george dixon our number one pick he's only a normal dev but 78 overall right now with the temporary morale boost he was a top five overall he was right there talent wise just hopefully we'll get a chance here to up him later tylen wallace we'll see what he can do we'll give him a chance here in this preseason isaiah Leonard, third round pick so i think we have a lot of depth you throw in chandler brooks adrian olsen a lot of depth at the wide receiver position. Carl Franklin will move into the left tackle, be our new starting guy there. Defensively, where we change, Aiden Hutchinson, Terrence Goodridge, now an X-Factor. So we got two X-Factors there on the edge. I think it's going to be really an unbelievable season for both of them, which they've already had two very good season. And we made a big free agent splash. We needed safety badly, and we got a playmaker back there now. So... That was huge for us. And now going into this preseason, let's see what some of these guys have for us. I would love to see Kirk, Blay, Kirk Bray play well. I know it's just a preseason, but still, I like to see some confidence rolling in. Because usually I don't even play the starters. That's my whole thing. I don't even usually play starters in preseason. Kind of play it more realistic. You know, a lot of guys just don't even play anymore. And I think that's why what leads to... You know, the first few weeks are just sometimes not the greatest football and you see some bad things. But we're going to play our starters. We're going to have some stuff to prove here. So let's get this going. We're taking on Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. And down the field, that one's going to be caught. Misplayed by Amani Awarie. And just like that, got a Deontay Hardy touchdown. That is not what you want to see at all. A little bit sloppy there. Hutchinson came around, pressure. And man, yeah, he it's just there. And he just misplaces it, and he's just diving all over the place. As Hardy goes in for the touchdown, something the Ravens would love to see. Getting more wide receiver production. But not a good start defensively, but here comes Kirk Bray. Puts this one up to Adrian Olsen, and he can't come down now. This is a tough defense. You got Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen. They are fantastic. So this is not going to be an easy test even in the preseason because obviously they're going to give it everything they got. First and ten for Lamar. Ball is loose. Goodrich picks it up. And I'm telling you, but he fumbles the ball. So the Ravens recover, but I'm saying, I'm saying Hutchinson and Goodridge are going to be, you know, just so tough to stop. Both of them are going to come off the edge there. I mean, Hutchinson's already been there. We've had some good season with Goodridge, who was our first ever pick in this franchise. But now up to an X factor, man, they're going to be tough to stop. So let's get back to the offense. Here's Stevenson with the carry. Obviously fills that role of Jamal Williams. And I think he's going to be fantastic. Obviously picked him up before we started the offseason. Just sitting there on the waiver wire. Has a one-year deal. And man, hopefully he can really shine. Second and ten. We fire. And there is our number one pick this year. George Dixon coming away with the grab. Obviously not sure if he's going to start right away. We'll slowly fill him in. But he hopefully will be a big-time weapon for this pass offense. As Bray stands in the pocket, fires over the middle, finds Jamison Williams, and man, that was a nice job standing in the pocket, finding Williams. And man, speaking of real life, 
Williams, great to see him on the field for Detroit. I'd love to see this Lions team make the playoffs. I think they have a chance, obviously. As Quez Watkins with the catch over the middle, but then he gets laid out. Patrick Queen for the Ravens will recover. So, Quez Watkins. It's okay. You know, you never want to see fumbles, but, man, hopefully he gives us another, you know, explosive type receiver. Obviously, we have that with Jamison Williams already, but you add him maybe in the slot, and, man, he could be total mismatch for sure. So we get the ball back here on the offensive side of the ball. Here comes Kirk Bray. Fires it. Got it. Catch. Tylen Wallace with the grab. And that's a first down. That's a nice throw. And we're going to give Wallace a chance. Like I said before, I liked him at Oklahoma State in college. Here comes Alex Randall, a now uh, rookie running back who's going to get a lot of playing time at being a uh, hidden devel development. So who knows what he's going to be. But, yeah. Tyler Wallace, you know, didn't really get a whole lot of time in Baltimore. I think he could be a solid receiver, solid special teamer. But he's making plays here against his former team. Showing them maybe why uh, they shouldn't have released them. So, giving pretty much a bunch of these guys a shot. I mean, I think Burks and obviously Jamison Williams are going to be your starters. And obviously Dixon's going to end in there being a first-round pick. But these other guys, Watkins, I'm, you know, I want to bring everybody in. I want to be diverse offensively with these receivers that's exactly what we want and here's some stevenson with the run touchdown after nice completion to quez watkins and that was a very very good drive by this offense that's what you want to see and now we can take the starters off you got a little confidence here in game number one and let's see what these backups can do as here comes randall and that's a great run nice blocking down the field using the stiff arm to try to gain any more yardage and he's up to the 40-yard line. And that is another thing, you know, we have to figure out the rotation at the running back position. Because Swift is obviously going to get the, the main and bulk of the carries. There's no doubt about that. As Isaiah Leonard, another receiver with the grab. I'm sure he will definitely make this team, but trying to get more into the rotation. But, yeah, Ramondre Stevenson and then now Alex Randall. So you're going to find a, try to find three guys in the rotation as Tylen Wallace has it. Touchdown. Nice job by Marcus Mariota. Sometimes those throws cross body, not always the best, but comes away with it. Touchdown. And that was a nice drive by the offense. And now defensively, we're going to see what some of these young guys can, can do. Jerome Barker with the tackle now. Not the greatest in coverage. He does have decent speed, but he can do that. He's a very good run stopper, very good at tackling. But that's not good, just wide open over the middle, and I believe it's probably going to be a roughing the passer as well. A late flag. Yep, roughing the passer, not what you want to see at all. And that's actually Kirby Joseph, the guilty party. He really struggled last year, and there's really no guarantee he would make this team. That, I don't be, I wouldn't be surprised if he possibly gets cut. He's going to have to make some plays as James Houston makes a nice play. I'll we'll have to get him more time as well. It's just so tough, some of these rotations. Third and goal. And this one's going to be incomplete, so maybe the defense makes a stop here. Ravens, I don't know if they're going to go for it or not, so nice job defense coming through with a stop there on the goal line, holding them to three as some of these guys obviously trying to make the team, trying to make a name for themselves. And down the field, Cedric Malone. Now, he got a little bit of time last year. We know what he can do. He just has that insane speed. It's just, you know, trying to put everything together, the route running. But sometimes in catching traffic, he has been fantastic. And going up top, Tylen Wallace, touchdown. Second of the game. What a fantastic throw from Mariota. And, I'm, I mean, this is a little bit of, I mean, it's, I know it's a preseason game. But a revenge game for Tylen Wallace as he is, Showing out. Hey, this is what you want to see. Sign these guys. Give them a second chance. And, you know, they have some talent. They can definitely make some plays. And he is definitely making it in this ballgame. And so is Hill. Nice couple tackles. Looking good. 21-10 lead. We're playing well. And that's what you want to see. You know, injuries happen. And we saw it last year at the wide receiver position. We didn't have depth. Offense struggled. And we want to see a lot of these guys just play well here in this preseason. We want to... You know, not really worried about injuries. If we have injuries, it happens as Cedric Malone, a fantastic grab after getting hit. 
But yeah, if in, injuries are going to happen in the NFL, and if we can trust in the guys that we can bring off the bench, you know, second, third string guys, that's what we want to see. And on third and seven, Malone again catches underneath. That one, uh, Mac Thurston now in the game. Guy we just, what the heck, draft, see what he's got. Strong arm quarterback, six foot five, your prototypical quarterback. And we went for it there. We got it. First and goal now from the six. No, there's still two minutes only left in the game with the lead, but we got to try something. There's Malone around the edge. He's got it. Touchdown. So Mac Thurston technically hits himself a touchdown. Cedric Mac Malone. I mean, you know, there's a lot of guys at receiver. You're not sure if you're going to make the team, even though he's on it last year. But, man, make the plays like that. You're definitely going to make the team as Kirby Joseph is going to take advantage. Probably could have run that in for a touchdown. But just want to stop it here so we can get a little bit more plays on the offensive side of the ball. But, hey, that'll help you make the team right back. No doubt about it. Kirby Joseph, nice play. As Mac Thurston puts it down the seam, finds Isaiah Leonard for the touchdown. Nice throw from Mac Thurston. I don't think he's going to make the team. But maybe we can, you know... Keep him on the practice squad and keep developing. Maybe be a solid backup quarterback. Nice throw. And that's pretty much going to do it for this first preseason game. So I'm seeing some good things. I liked what I see, saw from Kirk Bray. You know, it's tough sometimes in the preseason with the running game. Yet you get more pass happy. You want to see more of the passing situation. But, hey, I can't really complain. I mean, Bray, 11 for 18. No picks, no touchdowns. Mariota throws two touchdowns, 7-8. And Mac Thurston just comes in, goes 6 for 11, throws t two TDs of himself. Hey, I'll take the production. I don't think there's a quarterback controversy, you know, competition at all. It's it's Kirk Bray's job. Um, but, man, if Mac Thurston keeps throwing like that, I don't think I'm going to cut Mariota. But, yeah, we can just throw him. He's probably going to be a practice squad. We're probably not going to carry three quarterbacks. But that's always good to see. Now, as for the running, Alex Randall, 13 carries, 83 yards, looked pretty good. Ramondre Stevenson had that touchdown run, and like I said before, you just want to concentrate, especially the team we have on receiving right now, so it is so tough to get carries and, and really look at that. This preseason, you want to look more at the receivers. Look at Tylen Wallace. Five catches, Almost 100 yards, two touchdowns. Leonard with a touchdown. Cedric Malone with the TD looking pretty good. George Dixon, a couple catches. He wasn't in there the entire time. But so far, I, I, I like the receivers. Traylon Burks only had that one catch. Uh, you know, we're, we're not too concerned about some of those guys. But look pretty good. Looking good. I, I love the depth. I love the receivers we have. I'm usually only try to keep around maybe five receivers this year. I'm really set on keeping six. I mean, I, heck, I would keep seven. I, I think there's some positions where we don't need too much depth and guys are very good. And receivers, I think we can keep maybe seven, six, seven guys, and I'd be totally fine with that. So let's head into Kansas City, preseason game number two. I know it's the preseason. But this is your defending now Super Bowl champions. Patrick Mahomes, two-time Super Bowl winner. And Traylon Burks starts his off catch. Trying to get him a few more grabs in this preseason game. RPO action. Quez Watkins. I think we're going to throw that a little bit more in here to this year. Obviously, Kirk Bray had over 600 yards rushing last year. And to throw in that RPO game, give him that opportunity, I think that would be very, very good. And that's a good grab on the outside, but it's going to be short of the first down. But preseason, easily going for this one. As here comes the blitz over the middle. Jamison Williams has it, and he's got a first down to the 12-yard line. See if Kirk Bray can put this one in. This one will hand to Swift. Up the middle, Swift has got it down to the one. And even Swift, I mean, I would love to see him more involved in the receiving game this year as well. You know, they're going to be coming with some blitzes, so... We got to be ready just to dump it down as Stevenson up the middle has himself another touchdown. I don't know if he's going to be a touchdown vulture because he's going to get enough carries this year, but maybe. I mean, Jamal Williams, the end, ended up over, you know, 10 plus touchdowns. So we'll see what Ramondre Stevenson can do this year. I think he's going to have a fantastic season as Terrence Goodridge 
hits Patrick Mahomes. Hutchinson picks it up for the touchdown. We're, we're going to see this the entire year. They're going to be an unstoppable duo. They just have to stay healthy. That's all it is. Stay healthy and good luck to any offensive lineman that is going to face these two guys on each side. You can't double them. Forget it. You can't because if you double one, you single up another. He's just going to destroy you, man. That's that's duo. I mean, that's why we took Goodridge. The pair somebody with Hutchinson, and had a very good season last year. You know, over ten plus sacks. But man, this year I think it's going to even be even better. Fourth and one, and Edwards Hilaire is not gonna get it in our defense. I mean, they got their starters out there. Looking pretty good as Kirk Bray back to throw. Has time. Fires has Burks for the grab. And he's got himself a first down. I like him over the middle. I really do. You got Jamison Williams deep. Quez Watkins kind of in the slot as well as this one's going to be picked off. That's a tough pass. I thought for sure we're going to sneak it in there, get the grab. Safety comes down, picks it off. That one's still that one's tough. Definitely a tough interception. As the pressure, though, the defense says, hey, don't worry. We got your back. This offense is going nowhere. We'll get you the ball right back. And we're going to let Kirk Bray throw it down the field again as he has Jamison Williams. Man, fantastic footwork there on the sidelines. First down. Nice job. But we got a fourth down and two now. Kansas City just dropping back. Bray going to fire, and he can't find his man. Incomplete. So give, give KC's defense some credit here. Making some stops. And second and five, Aleem McNeil coming through. We brought him back for a reason. I think he's an absolute monster in the middle. You pair him with Derrick Brown. Man, they are so good up front. I'm telling you, this front four, I, I'm, I'm saying it right now. Best in the NFL. I'm saying it right now. And on first and ten, Quiz Watkins, that's what we want him to do. Get out in space. Use that speed in the slot. Beat guys that are just going to have a tough time covering you. And then we'll just hand it to this beast right here. Stevenson in for another touchdown. Man, I'm hoping we got a big play offense coming this year. And it's going to be, you know, we can just pound the football as well. Just all around balance. As we got last play here at the half. Mariota's just going to throw it up for grabs. And the reason we're showing this, because we got the Hail Mary completion to Adrian Olsen. I don't think I've had one of these in, man, I, I can't remember, in any game. And here in preseason game number two, what the heck, just throw it up, bounces, and Olsen's like, I got this. No problem, nobody covering him. We'll take that touchdown, take the luck. And we'll go into the second half of preseason game number two with a 28-7 lead over the defending champs. And the pressure continues. Houston is there. Pascal with the pressure on the other side. That's good to see. Good to see the pass rushing just coming alive. I mean, if we could just keep rotating guys, that'd be fantastic. Second and 21. And what was that Hill coming through with a nice stop? Linebackers looking good. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking. Sometimes you get put in these backups, and it's just a disaster. It really is. But right now, everybody's looking good. Oh man, Joey Stinson with the pick. It's all. It's just all working. It's all working right now. Looking pretty good in this preseason. We're just gonna have to carry this momentum into the regular season. Third and goal. Hand this one off to Randall. He's got it in for the touchdown. No problem. Puts this one in. And, man, we got a 34-7 lead over KC. It's, it's just so it's just good to see, you know, that would pretty much finish off this game. But it's it's always good to get wins. I know it's you know, preseason, but especially against a defending champ, just to go in, just get that taste of victory in your, your mouth and especially we played very well in that first half outstanding game loving the defense loving the pass rush and these receivers i'm thinking so far i'm all i'm hit we've hit on all of them i like 
Even Isaiah Leonard, only two catches. I really like him. Dixon, only one catch, but I think, he, I mean, with that first round pick, we're definitely going to get him plenty of playing time. He's going to be great. Terrence Goodrich with two and a half sacks in that fumble. James Houston with a sack and a half. Man, defense looking pretty good. Joey Stinson with that pick. Now, it's preseason game number three. We just ended up simming that one. Did not play this one. Kirk Bray threw a touchdown and a pick. Same with Mariota. Pick touchdown. Uh, yeah, obviously, the sim stats, it's not going to be as uh, more diverse as we would have it. Just not giving the same guys. Tylen Wallace did have a touchdown, so did Quez Watkins. Defensively, let's see what we got here. Sack for Hutchinson. Drew Barker had a sack. Goodridge, another one. So with that, 2-1 in the preseason. I'm liking what I'm seeing. We got one more upgrade here before we cut players. Terrence Goodridge has himself an upgrade. Uh, do we just continue with Speed Rush, or do we go maybe a Run Stopper? We'll go to Run Stopper. Gets the temporary morale. Plus one block shed, play wreck, power moves, and two in tackle 79 overall for him hopefully he just continues to up and keep going you know with the x factor so let's get to cut players gotta cut 13 uh mac thurston i like what i saw but we're gonna move him to a practice squad i think he should be safe there stick with mariota and kirk bray as our two quarterbacks running back carl wiley i think we're gonna have to cut him uh Deion torrance eh. I could move him to the practice squad, but I think we should straight cut him. Clarence Temple, I think we moved to the practice squad. And then we got Alex Randall, Stevenson, and Swift. That's our three running backs right now for the season, barring any injury. Receiver. So, Weldon, practice squad. Cedric Malone, uh, he's going he's gonna to make the team. He is going to make the team. Jeremy Wilkins, we're going to have to cut him. Uh, Manny Reddick, I think practice squad. And then Isaiah Leonard, Tylen Wallace, George Dickens, Quez Watkins, Traylon Burks, Jamison Williams. There you go. It's a lot of receivers. I understand, but I like it. And we're going to try to move these guys around. I think Malone will be more of the kick return at the moment, but he'll get plenty of time. We'll get all these guys involved. Tight end. Just not look at that yet in the moment. Guard, tackle, center. I think we're good. We have starters and backups. Left end, we're good. Right end, Oscar Clinton. I think we'll move him to the practice squad. James Houston stays. Goodrich is right there. Go to defensive tackle. Joe Johnstone. We got Caver, Travis Jones. I think we're going to keep three. So Johnstone's going to move to practice squad. Same thing with Marcus Caver. He goes to practice squad. So Jones, McNeil, and Brown there. Outside linebacker. Good there. I think Peter stays. Middle, maybe move Chad Hill to the practice squad. He did this. He did perform pretty well in preseason. Uh, we'll see. We'll come back to that. Gerald Wheaton, I think we're going to definitely move him to the practice squad. Drew and Barker will stay. So two more guys here. Corner, Timmy Bolden. We got Sherman, who we signed. Uh, Devin Boston. Stinson's obviously making it. Do we move Bolden into the practice squad? I think that's what we'll do. Move him to the practice squad. That'll move up a spot. I mean, Sherman, I, I, you know, that zone coverage at 55. Let's put him there. Put him in the practice squad. We'll leave Bolden on the moment. Uh, one more guy. Maybe tight end. Let's go to tight end real quick. Yeah, halfback, we're fine. Receiver, I think we're good. I think they're all staying tight end. So maybe, you know what? I'm thinking of cutting. James Mitchell. I'm not sure. Or do we just move Costanzo to the practice squad? So I think we're just going to move him to practice squad. That's it there. And then we're going to go get ourselves another pass rusher. DeMar Riddick was just sitting on the uh, trade block. You know what? I, I don't ever mind finding more pass rushers to put in there. It looks solid. Can't complain. He's a star dev. He's only going to come into his second year. Hasn't really played for Jacksonville last year at all. Now, like I said, on the trade block, so he's up for grabs. Still on a contract for three more years. He was a sixth-round pick. You know, why not throw some picks around fourth and a fifth, and we'll, we'll actually throw in Bolden, and we get a job done. I think that's fine. I mean, he's a star dev pass rusher. Just adds another guy to this roster. More talent 
fourth and fifth round pick, I'm not too concerned about at the moment. One's next year anyway, and Bolden wasn't going to get much playing time. I'm fine with that trade. Add another talent, and that's going to bring us into week one against the Dallas Cowboys. So this season is going to be... We got to make the playoffs. We got to make a deep run. I'm hoping we see a lot from Kirk Bray. I hope we see a lot from this team. I got a lot of expectations. You know, Green Bay doesn't have Aaron Rodgers anymore. We got to be right up there for one of the teams that's going to be a favorite to win this division. With the defense we have, I think we're going to be playing well. And it's a good stretch games here. Dallas, Minnesota, Giants, and then Pittsburgh. It's going to be a good test to start. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.